trying to pull a card for the first Zodiac on the wheel Zodiacs of the 12. We're going to do Aries. Aries, what's up for you this week? <clears throat> the Fool. So Aries. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is, we're still partially in the season of Aries anyways. So right now, this is kind of your time to, sh to shine because the sun is in Aries right now. And it's the Fool card, which means that you aren't really wanting to take anybody's advice, you haven't taken anybody's advice, and you don't plan on taking anybody's advice, and you're just gonna, you're just gonna jump into situations and, and things and experiences without, uh, without even thinking about it twice, without, uh, without gaining any knowledge beforehand, you're just gonna jump into something and just see what it's about without, you know, hearing anything about it beforehand, and when you, when you do that, you get to, you have a better chance of seeing things as they are instead of what other things make them out to be. So there's a positive and negative to it because you might also run into some uh, undesired uh, situations and stuff because you haven't learned about it beforehand to learn about any precautions you might need to take. But yeah, so that's what's up for you th th this week. You are the, the fool. And uh, ignorance can be blessed sometimes. There's a time to be ignorant. There's a time to not be ignorant. Okay, so next zodiac on the wheel, we have Taurus. All right, for Taurus, we have the Hermit. Ooh, that's kind of sad. But right now, the sun would be in Aries. We got to look at where the moon is at for, well, before we do these so we know where the moon's at. I can talk about that too. All right. So you're going to be the hermit this uh, week, Taurus. You're going to be feeling alone. You're going to be feeling like you just can't connect and relate with people. Like, uh, let's, let's pull a card for uh, why you're going to be the hermit. Why are you going to be the hermit? What's it, what's, what's it saying? The moon. Okay, so due to... Uh, it's due to some sort of like relationship. Somebody has hurt you, or uh, you have lost something. You're, you're kind of it, it's something like that. You're hurting right now, or you lost something, or somebody betrayed you, something like that. And now you're just kind of feeling like you know, fuck everyone. It seems more practical because Taurus is all about you know practicality. They they always do things only if it seems like the most practical and logical thing to do. So something as some person or something that has or might not have even hurt you. You might just be like, okay, I gotta be cautious of that now. It seems most practical to just be alone. Just do things by yourself. And we are in Aries season, and that is the season when people do that most. So. Alright, we're gonna pull a card for Gemini. We got the, uh... Oh, it's upside down. We got... Three of Cups. What's the Three of Cups? What is the Three of Cups upside down? Upside down? I don't know because I don't know every card off the top of my what, head. What is it upside right? If you look at the card, it's indicative of people celebrating and they've just had a healthy meal and their cups are full and their bellies are full. So Three of Cups is, is a fulfillment. It's like there's three elements in their life that have been fulfilled and there's another cat and a father cat and maybe mm. a friend cat so it's a, a baby a cat. gathering of it's a gathering family. of friends and family of good fortune it's like a it's like a, a family dinner so uh yeah. gemini your cup is full this week and it seems like all your many relationships many people that you talk to you're going to be uh you're really going to feel at home and surrounded by them and you're gonna uh yeah fulfillment all that. You're, you're doing great, Gemini. Now let's find out why you're doing great, though. Let's pull a card for why. Did we only skip two cards? The Fool. I only skipped Aries because I didn't think about that part yet, but uh, at Taurus, I got it. So we'll pull how they're doing and then a why card. We should do it from a different deck or why? Let's just keep it simple with one deck at a time. This is getting too complicated. Uh, so, Gemini, you're happy and feeling fulfilled because you have or are about to jump into situations like the fool without 
learning beforehand, which is rare for a Gemini. They usually love to learn about things. They just spend hundreds of hours just learning before they do anything. So you're kind of breaking out of a habit of uh, learning and knowing things. And right now you might be humbling yourself and being like, okay, maybe I don't know as much as I think. And, you know, maybe you're just kind of letting life show you some things that you weren't before. And now you're feeling fulfilled and happy about it. All right, now we're going to do Cancer, and as we know, my wife Sarah over here is Cancer Sun. So this is for her. This is for any Cancers out there. Your card is uh, Five of Swords. What is the Five of Swords? Demonstrating by the picture. Okay, Marianne, I need you to explain to me right now. What's the difference between Cups, Swords, and Wands? What do they do? What are they? Um, cups are of uh, abundance if they're spilled over as something to do with fortune. So it's like abundance, wealth, and fortune. Swords is like pathways, decisions in life, journeys, mm, knowledge. friends and right. foes. I know what that is. Fight or flight, depending on where the okay. swords are. And wands are different because wands creating. are like the magical aspect of yeah. your life. So if you're carrying too many wands, you're overwhelmed. If your wands are lined up, and, like, there's a one knife one where they're down and you're sleeping. That means something. It's where the wands are positioned, oh, how many you I'm going to be great with tarot cards. three different aspects of your life pathways, essentially. Where you are in your life, yeah. where you're headed, and why or how you could be headed there. Oh, I'm going to be great cups with tarot cards. Cups are the cards, best yeah. one to get. What and there's also pentacles. Okay, okay. What's the difference between cups and pentacles? I don't know. Pentacles is literal wealth. It usually symbolizes literal money and abundance. It's not like a, where a cup can be overflowing or yeah. empty or or top tipped over pentacles is physical money i think that abundance with one can be just as abundant as an, oh yes well there's one eight, one cup an eight. the ace of cups is just one cup handed to you from the universe and it's overflowing so i'm, I'm so I, I know numerology there's no number that's bad or less they all no, just do different things but they each are foretelling in your i'm good with yeah. numerology so i think i'm going to be great with tarot cards that's all just all i needed to know i just need to know the basics of that once we get that down i got the rest down Honestly, I haven't done a so, lot. I, I what I'm thinking about book. pentacles would be, uh, so that's just material things in general, wealth. So there's a difference between a wealth that is a one and a wealth that is five. It's not that five is more. No. It, it's that it's different. So five, 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 five would be for more, uh, like things that would help you lead something. So you're gaining more material to build on some sort of, uh, business that you ha have or ability to give to others or, or something and guide them so you might have just gained a bunch of money or sent a bunch of money to a certain person that needs it that you value and then like with a one that would be more selfish because one is more for yourself so if you got one of cups it's like you your, you yourself are getting uh, a bunch of money or you're doing something that's good for you you're doing something for yourself selfish isn't a bad thing Usually it's a I, I need to know how to be more selfish, and, and Taurus has teach me that. My brother Kyler has taught me that. I, I'm too selfless I don't as a Libra. Think the one cup is selfish. It, the number one is self, and it is of itself, so it's ish. It's very self-ish. It that's not a bad word. There's nothing wrong with being self-ish. So being selfless and selfish can be bad. It's this just, is a lot for me. I thought this was just a test. Like This is a lot for my brain. Okay, so it's fine. You just need to... It's it's fine from here. Okay. I just needed you to help me out a bit with the tarot cards. Like I know, you can but just I'm be my side. I'm doing a video right now. You're putting a lot of pressure on me. I don't want to think right now. I want to decompress. Okay. As we know, I'm an air sign, so all I do is push out ideas and thoughts. And she's a water sign, so she's all intuition, and she's like, oh, I, I I don't think like this. I just I just speak from from feelings and what I know deep down is true. I don't need to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> 